Guys, I'm back with another ring recovery mission. A guy reached out to me last night about a lost gold ring out in the water. So he gave me a photo where he was at. I have a general location. It's in about four to four and a half feet of water. And he lost it at high tide yesterday. Well, it's low tide right now. This is our best chance to get this thing. So he was out in the water playing football with his kids. Threw the football, ring went flying. I'm out at the water right now. Let's get out, see if we can find this ring. All right, guys, well, we just got out in the water. Machine's on. So here's the picture where he said he was at. And, you know, he took a photo while they were throwing the football around. And this is where I'm at. <laughs> so with the GoPro, it uh, looks a little deceiving, but I should be at right or about the right depth. Oh, I got a hit right here. Well, it's giving me like a 2930. So that's like pull tab, bottle cap, or nickel range. Ooh, the sand is really soft here, so gold would probably sink pretty quick in this. But he just lost it, I think, yesterday, so it should be gettable. Oh, I feel the hard bottom now. I dug about probably eight or nine inches down. Yep, and that was sitting right on the hard bottom. So let's see what this is. Yep. <laughs> just a freaking pull tab well, it's good that the hard bottom is within range of my metal detector so that ring should be out here I should be able to get it so I'll start making my pass this is going to be my first pass actually at the depth that I believe it's at I actually might be a little bit deeper than where it's at I like to start deeper work my way shallower just in case the current picks up or the waves get worse gives me a little extra time Okay, this is a really faint hit. This is a, a pretty deep target. Doesn't sound like it could be the ring, but when you're doing recoveries, you, know, you, you gotta dig it all. All right, it's in the scoop. Hopefully it's a ring and not a coin. Oh, it looks like it's neither. It's a big hunk of aluminum. <laughs> Well, right next to that hunk of aluminum, I got another another hit. It doesn't sound very solid. I'm getting like a mixture of a low and a high tone. So that might be good. All right, I got it now. Oh, I see it. Son of a gun. Part of a can. Not a good sign. Hey, are you ready for stuff? A uh, guy lost his wedding ring out here yesterday. Oh. Yeah. He said he was near a rope. Oh, yeah, we go. It's, okay, awesome. Thank you. Well, that was the first thing he said. He said if you go out there and you find a rope, you're really close. The rope's right over here. Okay, I'll head out that way here in a second. Well, this is a 50, which is about the right number for a gold ring. All right, I think it's in the scoop. Let's see if this is it. No. More junk. Okay, getting a 39 right here. Sounds like it's a, maybe a few inches down. I should probably get it in the first scoop. All right, I got it. Is this gonna be it? Come on, come on, come on. I don't see anything. I feel like I would have seen it by now. I think it's just that, a piece of aluminum. Ugh. Hey, this is the first decent solid hit we got out here. It's in the high 70s. And it's in the scoop. Better not be, what the heck is that? Part of a boat? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is a really weird low grunt. So I doubt this is our ring, but the numbers are low. And I think it's in the scoop. Whoa, <laughs> what a, oh, <laughs> gauged ears. That's gotta be stainless steel. That was in someone's ear, not a ring. <laughs> Looks like a ring, but it's not. <laughs> okay, I got a high tone right next to a low tone. So let's dig the high tone first, get that out of the way. This might be a coin spill or something, I don't know. Or it could just be two targets next to each other. 
and I think where I'm at is probably a little too deep. He said uh, about four, four and a half feet. I'm in about five feet deep. And like I said, it's low tide, so probably not the spot. I already made my passes in the shallower water in the what I thought was the correct depth, and I haven't found it. So it's possible that it's just too deep out of reach of my machine. So I haven't really found any dense, heavy targets. I'm gonna say this ring, it, uh, I don't know. It might not even be gettable. All right, this is in the scoop. Let's see what this was. This is pretty loud. Oh no. Yeah, everything I'm finding is super lightweight and that's really unfortunate for this guy. Well, here's an eight. Could be gold. So yeah, I worked the entire deeper water where I thought it was and I got nothing. So I gridded left and right, up and down, you know, like parallel to the shoreline, perpendicular to the shoreline. I cleared it all out. So now I'm just expanding the search area with what little battery I have left on my Manicore. <laughs> and um, hopefully we can come up with this thing. But uh, all I'm finding is aluminum foil, pieces of cans, pull tabs, bottle caps. Everything is super lightweight. So we'll do what we can. That's all we can do. Okay, this is like super solid hit. It's like 39, 40, 41. Boy, I hear something clanking around. <gasps> no way, guys. I think this is it. You know, in the photo, it looked like it was two-tone, but it had stripes on it. This has got to be it, guys. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, yes. 14 karat gold. My metal detector is just about dead. The sun's almost down behind me. Holy cow, we did it. Oh my goodness, he's gonna be so, so, so happy when I tell him. Wow, well, I guess there's no point in me continuing on detecting because I am pretty positive this is it. Heck yes, guys, another one. Wow, guys, right at the very end, we pulled it off. We got the ring we were looking for. I can't believe it. He's gonna be so happy when I tell him. Let's hurry on over to the truck. Let's give him a call and see what he says. Guys, I just got back and I looked at the picture of the ring. This is definitely the right ring. So let's give him a call and tell him the good news. Hello? Hey, Gary? Yes, sir. Hey, so I was, I just got back from the water. I was out in that deeper water. I was looking up and down, left and right and i did not find it out in the deeper water so i uh i went into the shallower water about knee deep and i think yeah. i got it are you serious 14 karat gold we got two stripes going down the ring i big heavy ring yeah um judging by the size I, I i think it's like an 11 and a half that sounds about right man we just left nathan benderson park i can meet up with you somewhere okay sounds good. all right we'll see you soon Awesome, thanks. Yep, we'll see ya, bye. Awesome guys, another ring is going home. <laughs> let's get on over there and let's meet up with Gary and give him his ring back. Hey, you must be Gary. I am Gary. Nice to meet nice you, man. Nice to meet you. So tell me what happened, how'd you lose <laughs> the ring? You know, we were out in the ocean, yeah. playing around with the kids, splashing at each other, throwing football. Yeah. At some point, it just flew off my hand. So did you know, did you realize when it fell off or did? No. Oh, I, really? I mean, we were still out there for a while. Okay. And then uh, at some point I just, I looked down and I noticed it was gone. Wow, okay. Yeah. Tell me if that's it. That is my ring. Yes. That is my <laughs> ring, holy crap. Yes. And, and the way I know, I had it resized a couple years ago. Uh -huh. um, I've lost some weight. It was originally a size 15. Wow. And I, I had to get it sized down. And when they did it, they screwed it up. And you can see that side is cut differently than this side. I noticed that when yep. I saw it. I was yep. like, oh, that's the first time I've seen one like that. It, it, they screwed it up when they resized it. <laughs> that's it's crazy. A, that, and yeah, I mean, there yes, you go. Yes, dude. That oh, that's Holy awesome. Crap. Awesome, awesome. Dude, that is awesome. Well, here's some stickers for you for the channel. Oh, absolutely. But that's uh, awesome. yeah, I am. So relieved I was able to get that for you. I, I was really not having high hopes. Once those rings go down in the yeah. sand, 
Sometimes they're down there for decades until the sand gets washed out again. You'd probably never see it again. That, and that's what we thought. We yeah. thought it was gone. It was probably 10 feet from the shoreline that's where nuts. I found it. It was really shallow, like right where it started to drop off and yeah. get a little bit deeper. Yeah. I mean, I, I and, said, I'm, and my machine was at like 4% battery. Oh. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, well, this is the end. I, I was literally on my way out and I got those couple of hits and I turn on the camera, like, yeah, I'll film. And I got the beer can, like, oh, another beer can. <laughs> and then I took another step before I even turned off the camera. Yeah. I heard it. It was, I mean, probably three inches down, right near the surface. We, we didn't look. We didn't look that close to shore at all. I thought for sure. I oh, yeah. No, when you drop something like that, it's one wave comes and yeah. that sand and droop, covers it right yeah. up. And, and it happens all the time. That's why people always ask me, how come you always look out in the water, not in the dry sand? Well, in the dry sand, you drop something. Oh, there it is. You pick it up, you put it right out in the water. It's gone. Yeah. And the only way you're going to find it is with a metal detector. Yeah. So. This is awesome, man. Dude. I appreciate this so much. You're very welcome. I'm, awesome. I'm just glad I was able to help. So, awesome. All right, man. We'll take care. All right, man. Thanks so much. No problem, man. We'll see you later. <laughs> Guys, that's what it's all about right there. Those awesome reactions. You saw how happy he was. Guys, if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. That Hitting that like button really helps me out a lot. It helps put my video out there to other people who don't know I even exist. So please do me a big, big favor. If you did like this video, hit that like button down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.